I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing today. And I have ended up with this table full of collage pieces, I guess. What happened was I had this box that over the last several years, I've just been throwing everything in. So if I had a piece of um, anything, I just, I, I, I have a hard time getting rid of uh, any kind of paper. <laughs> so I would just throw it in that box. So I've been trying to go through and organize it. You can see a bag of tea bags over there. This is tissue paper and notes. Um, envelopes. You can, uh, a lot of envelopes have gorgeous insides if you look at your junk mail. Um, just tissue papers and marks and I don't know. It's just... I've gone down a rabbit hole this morning and just trying to organize and see what I've got and see what inspires me. I ended up with this, which is just anything I saw that had like greens or teals. I would take a little piece and just throw it on here. And I actually do love that. So that is what I'm starting with today. And now I have to decide where I'm going with it. So I have my grid set up and what I'm going to do is I have some tissue paper down here. It's just a napkin that this is the back part of the napkin. So it's just a real thin. It's just one ply of a napkin. And I'm going to take my fine line applicator. And I'm just going to make some marks. My, my idea today is to take all of this, all of these pieces I've come up with. And instead of trying to draw like wildflowers, I'm going to just try to uh, add it to the grid. So I'm going to take my fine line applicator here and I'm just going to make some leaf marks. It's got ink in it. I'm just letting my, I'm just holding this bottle really loosely and just thinking uh, wildflowers. Just covering this little napkin with just random marks and see what I get. And then I'm going to tear this up to put it in my flowers or maybe use some of it. So just like that, I'm just making a few marks. So this is what that ended up looking like. And again, I've just got a pile of stuff laid out, which working like this is just a ton of fun. It's just, um, I don't know what exactly what I'm doing. Just trying to throw some stuff together and come up with something maybe a little bit different, but you can see all the stuff I've kind of pulled out and am working with. So let's throw some of it together on our grid. Okay, so I have my grid set up. I ended up with some ink on it, which is absolutely fine. Um, what I'm gonna use today is some of this tissue that I created with that fine line applicator. I've got another piece here where I just did random marks. I'm also gonna use my palette paper. So when I set up to paint, I use this, I get this at the Dollar Tree, it's parchment paper. Um, 
and I just use a piece of it for my palette. So what I've been doing, because I love, you know, the colors I use, I, I just take it then and let it, I just set it aside and let it dry. And I've got tons of this, um, just paper that I've used for a palette. And I'm going to tear, tear uh, pieces of it like this. So I'm going to throw the tissue paper with the lines and then some of this and just see what we get. It's just fun to play like this. So the way I start a lot of times is just with, um, I just let my pencil, that's how I'm going to start. Just to get something on the paper. This is from Stencil Girl Products. And I'm just going to throw this on with a light color. This Craft Smart Light Pistachio. A makeup sponge. It already has some color on it. Let's see what we get. I think that had dried. I used it earlier. And I'm I'm just going to throw some of this on. I love this stencil. I can also just take my sponge and put some dots. Okay, so I've got the scribble. Then I've got a little bit of collage. I don't know, just pick a color here. This is a Derwent Drawing Terracotta. And I think I'm just going to throw some more. Uh, I'm just holding the pencil right at the end and just I'm going to put a few more of these marks. I'm liking that. I'm going to take a wet brush. And I'm just going to uh, wet a little square and pull that off. If you wet it, it just tears easy. And what if I collage this on right there? I'm going to take my matte medium. I'm using a square brush. And I'm just going to collage that right on top of what we've already done. Let's see what we see what this looks like. Very random. Again, I'm thinking wildflower, but at this point I could go in any other direction too. I'm just playing, just playing with color. I love these. I love to put black in my painting like this. All right, let's do another one. Take this little mark here. So I'm liking that. Now I'm going to take this, my palette paper, and I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to tear some of this I'll start with this one. I'm just going to throw the matte medium in, and then I'm just going to randomly place the palette paper. Can overlap them. I just let it do its thing. I think I'll throw a small piece right here. Maybe one more small piece right here. Um, I'm thinking like three or five. I've got this other piece of palette paper I could use 
Let's do this pink. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tear, tear that like that. Let's put that big one there. Maybe a medium one, wherever it will stick. Shape right here. And I've got a little bit more pink. Yeah, just some different shapes and uh, let's see, I could even throw one over here. Just until it looks interesting. So that's six. Let's do one more. This one has a tiny bit of yellow in it, which I like. Let's see. Let's just throw that one up here. Not even trying to stay in the square. Okay. I like that. Also, like a lot of times I use um, this citron green. You can see it right there on the palette paper. I love that would probably look really cool, like splotches of that. Let's try that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tear a little swatch of that lime green out. Ooh, I love that. Another little piece out. I think I had one more. Uh, let's see. There's a little bit of it in here. I just do we want it there? Yeah. Just let it go where it wants. All right, see, I love that. Doesn't that look like wildflowers? I just hold it up. I could just throw. Let's do that right there. I like that. Whatever that was. Where did I have it? Right there. And look at that blue. That blue popped in there. Yeah, so I'm just painting with palette paper, basically. You can kind of stick it on. If you didn't like it, you could pull it right back off. But I'm going to create some maybe leaf-looking things like that. And some of the, uh, the black ink is getting covered up, and that's fine. It makes it more random. Here's a little bit more of that blue. I see it right there. Because, you know, your palette paper is going to be the colors that you the, that you use. So it's going to show up here and there. But, yeah, there's a little bit more of that blue. Some pink. I don't know. I'm just um, grabbing some pieces and moving them around. Here's some more of that blue. We could put a little bit more of that right here. Or if we don't like it there. Yeah, you can just maybe right there. Something up here. Yeah, just kind of random. Throw it here. Here. Let's 
See, I'm just throwing this everywhere. Palette paper. I have torn it and thrown a bunch of that in. I'm going to take my colored pencils and I'm going to pick a green. Now, it's a little tricky here because there's tissue paper, so the pencil could very easily pull off the tissue paper. So I'm just going to kind of hit it here and there. I'm going to circle where I see flowers and if some of the tissue comes off that's fine. I'm going to make some lines. This is just a green. Can't even really see it. It's just some more marks. You can see it here and there as I'm touching it. Just uh, just where I see leaves or um, flowers. I'm just kind of Touching them here and there. Maybe some stems. Go ahead and Very abstract, very random. Let's take another color. Um, how about this blue? This is a Prismacolor True Blue. That blue might be pretty around these white flowers that I see. Yeah, you can get as uh, random and as wild as you want, and then you can always then carve out, carve back. I've got this tempera stick that's this bright, bright pink, and I'm just wondering if I um, just look at this and just add a swatch of that here and there. It's pretty. I've got this blue. Let's add a, just a little bit of that. Let's see. This one has some blue. We could. We could just add some of that here and there and touch it. It's pretty. Maybe add uh, some blue to these. Just playing. And maybe add a little to some of this. here. I love yellow and stuff. I'm just going to just kind of touch each one of them. Again, that's a tempera stick. We could just leave them like that. One thing you can do is I've cut a little mat so you can look at them uh, with a mat around them. See, I love that. That almost looks like a vase right there. That just looks like wildflowers. That looks like a big leaf. I like the leaves in that one and the flowers. Okay, so say like this one. I could, I kind of see a mark there and there. All right, so say I, I decide I want to put a vase in this one. This is a Stabilo, so it's water soluble. So you can see it's, and say I wanted to just touch around these white flowers one more time. So and just touch here and there around the leaves, just whatever you see. But I love, I love all this uh, random marks showing, so I don't want to lose all that. But I could take a little bit of pure white um, gesso 
and just touch like say right that corner maybe like right here I don't I'm trying to leave uh, you know I could just touch it here and there I got something in it let's go back and get another swatch of white oh I don't want to lose that but I could touch in here and there carve out my little pot I guess, yeah, I guess I could just touch here and there. See, and you can so now in, instead of it being so like in a garden wildflowers, you can see that you can kind of like Like if it was in a pot. I think I'm going to take some blue. This is just a ultramarine, golden ultramarine. I just had a thought. This is how it works. It's just. And what if I put some of this blue in the pot? Could reshape it. See, now here you're just drawing a little bit more, but. Yeah, so at this point, you know, it's getting a little tighter because I'm not being as um, random. But yeah, I like that. I'm just going to throw some of this uh, pot color up here and there. I'll put some centers in the flat just touch the flowers here and there where they might have a bring some of the marks out a little bit further. Yeah, so that looks a little bit more like, let's take my pencil here and touch it here and there. Yeah, so you can, uh, you can go that direction and then you can pull it back. Let's put the mat on it and see. It looks like a pot of wildflowers. This looks like a vase right here. I had a vase right here, and maybe some more stems. What if I made a vase right here? So you just decide if you want a pot or just the wildflowers, I could touch, you know, right around the, uh, super loose with that blue, just to kind of carve out the flowers a little bit more. Let's take some of the white and just knock some of this out down here. Maybe touch here and there. Yeah, so you can see how you can, uh, just quickly make it a pot of flowers rather than just wildflowers. I'm just gonna touch some of this. I love white and stuff. Mm-hmm. I really like that white in that one. I think I'm gonna do it here too. I'm gonna touch there, there, maybe there. Ooh, it's pretty wherever I see like a bright color. And I'll just let that be just a really abstract pot. This one needs it too, I think. Yeah, so I could just keep going and keep going, but um, I love that one. That's probably my favorite. Love that one too. 
using um, tissue paper and palette paper. Yeah, and I could keep going. Um, I could put some patterns in the vases, in the backgrounds. There's just a ton of stuff you could still do, but I'll leave it there, and um, I hope you enjoyed.